G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today is my first ride with the YSS suspension installed. So I have installed the new rear shock and the fork upgrade kit. You can probably see it just there. So I've ridden down the highway to this location, now we're heading to the dirt section here at Beer Burham, or as other people know it, Glass House. I have to say, so far on the road, I've only ridden a short distance, but the rear feels much better. It's sitting much higher in the stroke, so it doesn't feel like I'm sitting in a lounge chair. It's much more flat and even. The front, definitely not as much dive on the brakes. It's fantastic, but still feels nice and supple so far. So initial impressions on the road are very good, very good. So it still feels stable and rock solid. The back, it's still plush, but definitely much firmer. Like, as you can press down, it's not rebounding fast up really. It's still nice and smooth. So it's firmer, but still smooth. How I've got to start at the moment, feels nice and even. Yeah, road impressions so far are very positive. Cornering, doesn't seem to be really any difference, I would say. Still feels exactly the same. Uh, the roads haven't been really rough yet. There will be some rougher roads up here. Uh, some gravel and then we'll hit some dirt sections and single track and we'll reassess it from there. But initial impressions of the road is feels great. Definitely feels like an improvement. The biggest thing I noticed is it's sitting in a little bit higher in the rear and flatter and not bogging down, which is fantastic. All right, let's keep going up here to some gravel and dirt sections and see how we go. So we are on some back roads here. It's a bit rougher and rockier. See, it's got it going gravel and a mixture of bitumen and concrete. And onto the gravel. Hitting a bit of a limit there. The uh, <laughs> KLR has been running the hard in a while. Suspension's feeling good. I've got the preload. I put it in five turns. I had about 15 turns yesterday. I put it in five, which I feel like is a good place to start. All right, first dirt feelings. Much firmer all around. Not in a bad way. Feels like it would actually take a hit. There we go, that was actually quite a sharp hit. I think the stock suspension would have really struggled with that and this just went through it, no issues at all. Fast gravel, fire road section. Yeah, that rear is a big improvement. And I'd actually get a bit worried doing a stock suspension to this speed because when something comes out at you, like a washout, you, you pucker a bit. Because when you hit it, your bike's just going to blow through, whereas a bit more confidence for sure. All right, everyone, I've done a really good loop and I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about how the suspension has performed, the fork upgrade kit and the rear shock. I'll start off by saying I am very impressed. I'm super happy with how it's performing. My initial thoughts are, I cannot recommend this enough so far, especially the forks. So how has it improved? Well, I'll start with the rear, because this is uh, what's been surprising for me is, the bike seems to sit high in the back now when you're sitting on the bike, so there's not as much sag, and I think it's a big improvement. Uh, it's sitting in a much more neutral riding position for me. Uh, with the Stock shock, it tends to sag a lot for me. It's just a little bit soft. Uh, made for someone just a lot lighter in general. Also, the rebound is definitely improved and how it just performs, it's much more controlled. I'm very happy with the rear shock. Uh, the only time I felt it was maybe a tiny bit soft was through the whoops. It didn't bottom out. I just probably need a couple more clicks for me in the riding I was doing today. Really happy with the rear shock, and I'll just reiterate, I like how it sits a little bit higher now in the rear when you're sitting on the bike. Sitting higher in the stroke too. This feels great and seems to perform much better. The forks are a huge improvement, a huge improvement. Here's the preload settings I use. It's about five turns in. Uh, I just left it at that for the whole day, and I was very happy with it. For my full long-term review, I'll fiddle with this some more and go from there. Oh man, the forks are so much better. I'm now no longer afraid to push that bit on unknown trails where you don't know if there's going to be a washout or something on the other side of a bump and it's not going to plow through and bottom out and spit me off. Now, boom, takes the hits. Haven't bottomed out once today. 
that has been fantastic. It's taking the hits and seems very controlled. The bike in general is just much more controlled. The rebound is performing much better. I got it to spring back a little bit a couple of times over whoop sections. Look, I was getting a bit silly. My technique also wasn't that great, so it didn't help. But I did notice, yeah, just a little bit then, but everything else, fantastic. Coming over jumps, I can hit them faster and not bottom out and feel like I'm going to die and be spat off into the trees over here. Still nice and soft and supple, but if you want it a bit softer and suppler, dial it out a bit, dial out the preload a little bit, and you get that cushier ride, same with the rear. So overall, first ride impressions of the YSS suspension upgrade all around, I am very happy, very happy. I mean, it was all really easy to do as well. I was a bit worried, to be honest. I thought they'd be a bit more involved than it is. Rear shock was very easy to drop out and install the new one. The forks were really easy to do. I mean, these are designed so you can just undo the top, pull everything out, slide these in. Voila, you're good to go. Overall, very happy with how everything has performed. I'm stoked. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm riding faster. The bike's more controlled and I'm more confident. What more could you wish for? If you want some further thoughts on how the suspension has performed, I'll be doing that ride video, so check that out as well. It's kind of a companion video to this as well. Alright, I'm going to start riding home. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the YSS suspension, put them in the comments down below, and keep it on the back wheel. Catches.